This is uh, Nelly Deutsch, and I'm going to demonstrate how you can get your certificate of completion for a Moodle MOOC 6. And this is for both Moodle training participants and Moodle MOOC 6 participants of the webinars. There were two tracks, and you could do both or one or the other. So this is how you can get your certificate. Notice certificates will be available from June 8. However, you may start by reflecting on the webinar. Yes, only one webinar. This is the reflection submission area. Let me take you there right now. You may add your submission as of May 31st, 2015, by clicking on Add a Submission. Let's do that now. You're prompted with an area where you can add a text, and the text will be, let's open up the uh, editor, will be of your blog post. In other words, you need to add the link to your blog and blog post. Right here, you write the name of the blog, highlight the words, go into the link submission area, click on it, add the link. I'm just going to add a link to uh, my blog, not very active, but a blog. Okay, there it is. And then you're going to insert right here. Don't forget to insert or you won't see it. And then it's hyperlinked. Okay, the name of your blog. Mine is called Passionate About Learning, but that's okay. You just need the link to the blog post. Okay, and then you simply save the changes. Now, what are you going to have in your blog post. Well, you're going to have a video tutorial and text reflecting on 10 questions. And let me get the 10 questions for you right now. This is um, how you present. It's part of the syllabus notice here, but it's uh, right here. Get your certificate, click, and you'll be able to get this. So how do you get your certificate? Participants who wish to get a certificate will need to reflect on the live presentations. In this case, it's only one, but you may reflect on more using MoveNote, Present Me, Slide Speech, Plotagon, or Screencast-O-Matic that you've been using in your Moodle teacher training. Please note that you only need to share the link. And that's it. In order to do that, you need to watch the webinars. And here is the list of webinars. Just click on it. You get to the list of webinars. There were 26. And here they are. Okay, the links to the webinars will appear right here. Another place where you can get the webinars is in the Moodle for Teachers. MOOC 6 area on WizIQ, but before we get there, you can also click on the area right here. You also have them on the syllabus. Okay, so if you go into it, you'll be able to uh, view them by going into course schedule and you'll get a list of the webinars right here. Okay, for each week, notice the recordings will appear. They're all recordings except for the one that's going to come up today. So you go through that. In addition, you'll be able to go through the syllabus and you can find the syllabus in about the course as well, which is right here. There are different ways to get to the syllabus. So. Uh, each one will get you there. Notice the syllabus is right here under course description. And if you scroll down, here is the uh, 
table of contents, you'll be able to see the live online classes and the webinars. Okay, and here they are. Notice you'll be able to get to them by clicking on the following. Okay, these are the webinars. And that's it. Looking forward to uh, watching your tutorial and reflection and getting to know your blog so that we can also share and uh, learn together. Thank you so much for joining Moodle MOOC 6 and the upcoming Moodle MOOC 7. Thank you so much.